stop technique. Diversity expert Lenora Billings Harris has developed a four step technique that you can use when someone is behaving in an inappropriate manner. It's called stop. Although it can be applied to almost any situation, she has designed it for dealing with diversity issues. So let's have a look at stop technique. S stands for state the inappropriate behavior objectively. Here you should tell the offender what needs to be changed in a specific, objective way. If you show your feelings, the offender will often respond with anger and denial, which will get both of you nowhere. For example, Bob, when you call my ideas retarded, T stands for tell the offender how you feel when she or he performs this behavior. This is where you can add your feelings or opinions, although feelings are usually best so that this doesn't become a debate. Make sure you stay as logical and unemotional as possible. For example, it really hurts my feelings and makes me feel devalued. O stands for give the offender options. In addition to telling the person what you don't want them to do, offer several suggestions for what they can do. For example, I would prefer that you use a different word, like silly or illogical. It would be even better if you could simply ask me to explain my idea further. P stands for positive results. Let the offender know what the results will be if they change their behavior. Dale Carnegie states that in order to change behavior, the person must know WIIFM, what's in it for me. For example, I really feel that this could improve our working relationship and our communication skills. I think our ads would be a lot more creative too. Here are some tips for making stop work for you. The first few times you use stop, test it on a child when they act inappropriately. Plan out what you'll say. This will help you identify your feelings options, and possible results. When you talk to the offender, make sure you're in private. Don't expect miracles. If the person does not change their behavior, you can try the process again until it does work. If the behavior does not change and it interferes with work, bring it to your supervisor's attention. If the behavior does change, show appreciation as soon as you can.